Evening. This is the ballot box behind me. You can see it's been taped off. It is no longer in service after someone set the inside of it on fire last night. Tonight, several agencies are investigating, including the FBI and the state attorney general's office. An arson investigation is underway after this ballot drop off box was set ablaze. It was around 8.30 Sunday night outside the Baldwin Park Library when investigators say the arsonist dropped a burning newspaper inside what was considered a secure ballot box. Firefighters used a fire extinguisher, then had to cut the box open before using a fire hose. We're going to save as many ballots as we can. George Silva was on his bike when he saw the fire and flagged down firefighters. And I was seeing people being robbed for their voice. You know, every ballot's a voice. and. Everyone that burned is just a voice that didn't get heard. Investigators say around 200 ballots were inside, some of them soaked and damaged. Just hoping that maybe one of them is, you know, maybe, maybe it didn't get burnt, but I don't know. Kimberly Perez had just placed her ballot in the night before. County staff say the last batch was picked up Saturday at 10 a.m., so her ballot was likely affected. It's upsetting because you feel like you know you want to make a difference and you feel you know you voted, you did your part, and then you see in the news the burned ballots and then knowing that I had just dropped it off and it's just it's it's upsetting. The LA County Registrar's Office is encouraging those who dropped off their ballot after Saturday morning to call their office. There is a, a tracking system within the county kind of registers office and uh, we're going to be looking into that because it's important for us to make certain that these individuals that voted that their that their vote is counted. I guess I'm going to try to track my track it and see if they if contact them to see if they maybe they can send me like rush me one but um, maybe or even just go vote in person cuz yeah it could happen again. <laughs> For that suspect, of course, anyone with any information is encouraged to contact police. Reporting live tonight in Baldwin Park, Carlos Alcedo, KTLA 5 News.